Let's go to Richmond, Kentucky, where Shannon is on the line. Shannon, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thank you for taking my call. You bet. I saw the topic there, what what Madison tells me there on that little bit of space. I thought, i got to talk to you. So what's going on? Well, I appreciate it. Um, Okay, so the last, I'd say, year, I haven't really felt like I've been accomplishing much in the job that I was in. And I liked the job, but it just wasn't. I didn't feel like I was in the right place. So last week I gave my two weeks notice and I don't have anything lined up, mm. but I have something in mind. Okay. Um, but I just need some help figuring out how to accomplish that. I love it. What is this thing you have in mind? Okay. So I have been the youth pastor in my church for the last eight years as did, a volunteer. Did you say youth pastor? Absolutely... Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm, I volunteer. I don't get paid, but I love that work, and I love helping people, mm-hmm. and I live in a very small rural community, um, and I just want to make it better, but I don't know how to go about doing that and having a career in that as well. Um, so if you could just sure. give me some advice or help me figure out what I need to do, that okay. would be amazing. All right. Let's start with what is the amount of money that you need? to make need is the operating word so if you don't need to make a certain amount or it's just gravy tell me what we need to accomplish financially okay so i have no debt debt free um i have three to six months of savings great uh and i have very little um expenses i still live at home um so i honestly don't need Oh, a whole lot of money. what would be what would uh, be the baseline? So you'd have to make at least this much and you've got a little bit of margin, not to mention you're already debt free and you've got savings and you live at home. So, you know, virtually very little cost. What would be the number where you still want to bring that in? Um, in the area, if I could, you know, bring home like six hundred dollars a week. I think I would be doing okay. Okay, great. All right. And and that's important because we have to figure out when when we've got a passion for something like this and we and we're starting to figure out the path to it, um, we have to still deal with the fact that we've got real responsibilities. And and so you're at a small church, I'm guessing. That's where you go to church and volunteer. And so they don't have a full time youth pastor, which is why you do it as a volunteer. Correct. So that position is probably not coming available for you, and it's certainly not going to pay you that kind of money. Is that also correct? It's Yeah, we've had youth pastors in the past that have uh, been paid a salary, but I just took it on as a volunteer. Uh, well, then I think we start with a sit-down. I think we start with a sit-down with your pastor. Right. I mean, has it ever come up about you maybe moving into the full-time role, or has it not even been discussed outside of your own head? Well, I mean, it, it's not been discussed except a couple of weeks ago, he actually came to me and I hadn't said anything to him about it. He asked if I wanted him to write a reference letter so I could start taking classes at the Bible college. And I didn't know if that was him trying to, you know, maybe say that I could have that position. Yeah, that's a clarifying. So, so you need to call him today. Hey, okay. what if I did this? Uh, I've Mm -hmm. just left my job. I'd love to do it full time. So let me just say, I'd love to do it full time because that's true. Isn't that, isn't that true? You'd love to do it if he gave it to you. So just say, what would it take? What are the qualifications? What does get qualified for this church and this youth pastor role? Does it mean I've got to have a seminary degree or do you want me just to have a Bible college degree? Can I do it? And you start paying me if I start to take classes. I mean, you just got to sit down and go, what if, what could be? That's the conversation, because I do believe he's opened the door for that, without question. Okay. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. Now, now we got now we got this challenge, though. So let's say he goes, you need to get a four-year degree um, or two-year degree or whatever. Once he answers the question of what does it mean to be qualified, you've got to find out, Pastor, what would make me qualified for this full-time job? Are you open to me stepping into it and getting paid at least part-time? All these things have to be figured out. At that point, now you know, all right, if I want to do that, then I need to go get a day job 
And maybe it's working with young people at the, at a, at a, I don't know if you've got a YMCA, but you're going to have to find something that will bring in that base amount of money while you're getting qualified. And ideally, not just the base amount of money, something that's going to help you pay for the degree or whatever he's going to require. Okay. But that's your path. Okay. That's your path because that's what you want to do, right? Yeah. Well, then, I've always enjoyed working with teenagers. Well, then just say that's what I want to do. And so I wonder if there's a job where maybe you can make 24000 or 25000 a year for the local government working with youth programs or you know, parks and recreation or just something where you're engaged with young people some way, somehow. Make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. So that way, at least in the day job, there's some involve, involvement with young people. And oh, by the way, you go, hey, listen, have you ever thought about coming to church? Ooh, I like that. I'm all about that kind of action. <laughs> then invite them to church on Sunday after you've helped them out with a government service on Thursday. I mean, maybe that's an option. I don't know. I'm trying to give you some options here. But this is not a difficult path for you. It might take a little bit of time, but it, this is just about finding out what he wants from a qualification standpoint. Will he give you a shot at it? And you'll go, I'm in. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, that Shannon. Awesome. Yeah. Listen, you're, <laughs> yeah, listen, you need to do this. You need to go for it. Okay. All right. I thank you so yeah, much. Thank you for calling. Love it.